Good morning, lady. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Lady. Listen, he sold you a dream, but he wasn't dreaming about you. See, that's what's really happened. You got sold a dream from a dude who wasn't dreaming about you. Now, whether or not he meant well, I'm not sure. But a lot of times, what people say, they do want those things. The key is you need to make sure they want them with you. That's why you see a lot of times women, they get so, they just, they can't accept and fathom when they leave a man after being with him with so many years, he turns around and go marry the next woman within three to six months. Yeah, because he sold you a dream, but the dream just wasn't with you. Stop saying a man ain't into marriage. Stop saying what people not into. Stop saying what people ain't going to do. Stop saying that. People do all kinds of stuff with other people. They just didn't do it with you. Come on now, lady. They just didn't do it with you. And when we sit down and we accept it, it don't mean that it can't be done or a person won't do it with you. He just didn't want to do it with you. So you know what you do? You cut your losses and you move on. So you can go ahead and get with that dude who wants to do it with you. But if you keep holding on to the fact and holding a grudge with men because the one you chose didn't choose you, come on now, you're never going, you, you're never going to get to that place in life where you want to be in relationships and building a family and having a provider for a man and having a husband that makes sure he takes care of his family. That makes sure he wants to make sure he keeps a house, a roof over your head. Making sure you and your children is warm, fed, y'all eating, y'all taken care of. Men roll a certain way. Men who are men, they got a certain energy. There's some things, you know it, when you've been around some, you might have been around some at work in different settings. Maybe you know somebody else that has husbands or uh, men. It's just a certain air, it's a certain air about them. They got a certain je ne sais quoi. They got a certain um, vibe with them, a certain energy. You know it. You feel it. You know when it's different. You know when 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 you with a, around a man and when you're around a, a, a dusty, busted motherfucker. You know the difference. You know the difference. Now, let me ask you this. How do you feel when you're around a real man? Now, is that make, does that make you uncomfortable in a bad way? Meaning... Do you feel like it puts you out your comfort zone? Because if being around men that know they're men and they don't have to state it or say it makes you uncomfortable, then you got some other issues going on with you. You got some issues you need to take care of with yourself. All right, but remember and accept it and shrug your shoulders. Don't mean it's over for you. He sold you a dream, but he wasn't dreaming about you. Hey, we all been there. We all been there. You look at another woman, you say, oh, I want to be like, I want to have a family like she do. I want to, you know, have a, the husband and some kids and do all that. You don't think that man or that woman been been in a, a situation previous to who they with right now? You don't settle for some bullshit. You don't settle to stew in it. You say, all right, mother, you don't see it for me? First, you got to admit a motherfucker don't see it for you. Y'all take things so personal. Your ego's kicking and say, nah, I can't be because everybody loves me. No, everybody don't love you. Everybody don't love you. How you figure everybody love you and half your parents didn't love you or you, you got relatives that don't love you? How so maybe some of your kids don't love you? So we, we need to be careful how we throw love around and the, the meaning of it and what somebody's supposed to love you or do for you. Let's not do that. All right now, come on now. Go ahead and take it in. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Take it in. When you take it in and you get that memo and you read it, you'll know where you at. You'll know what direction you're going into. Keep ignoring the signs. Got the memo. Read it. Accept it and do something about it. All right. Hello. Goodbye.